There were two huge events in New York this week that involved gorgeous, pampered, perfectly groomed icons who pranced before the world media, bathing in their adoration, and I am, of course, referring to Fashion Week in New York and the Westminster Dog Show. And there was big, really earth-shaking news made at both those events because a Scottish deer hound won Best in Show at Westminster this year, which is a first for the breed. And, more importantly, loose-fitting black clothes are out and colorful, tight-fitting clothes are in! <laughs> Once again proving how completely out of touch, whether it comes to dogs or people, the fashion elite are. Because, you know, every year when Westminster rolls into New York, the number one observation made by everyone is that no Labrador or Golden Retriever has ever won Best in Show. Mostly because popularity of the breed has nothing to do with the judging criteria, where nothing goes over better with the judges than an aloof, elitist contestant who could be switched with a mannequin without anyone noticing which also means that any of those dogs could probably get jobs as runway models. And you could also switch the Westminster judges with the fashion girls without anyone noticing either because the fashion elite are as tone deaf to the public as the folk at Westminster who never seem to have met a Maltese that they didn't just adore. Oh, come on. Black clothes are out? You mean that the clothes that take 10 pounds off you, the ones that don't have to be dry cleaned as often, the one that people always tell you you look fabulous in, and the fashion world actually thinks it's a good idea for the real world to start wearing tight, bright clothes? Have they ever seen the drive through line in a McDonald's at lunchtime? The only brightly colored things that that group should ever be seen in are their cars, which, of course, have a adorable golden retrievers in the back seat begging for french fries.